idea for a short story. I started from nothing. I started to how to fix, fix a tire, a flat tire. And uh, day by day, I started to train more. Started to know how the feeling of the road on the bicycle. And uh, after eight months of planning and training physically, and also mentally, I said that to the world that I'm going to cycle in, cycle around the world. You need to know where you're going. You need to know the season. You can't, you can't think that you can cycle in Alaska in the winter, for example, or Tibet in the winter. So you need to know yourself, and then you need to know the map. Uh, you need to do the, your homework. It's not, uh, this is extreme places. If you don't do your work, you die. They always want to help, you know, I'm, I'm coming, they see that I'm exhausted. They see that I need a shower, they see that I need to eat. And they help me. And it's pure because, hey, they see it. I have a bicycle, he also has a bicycle. So that's it. Also, you know, from the poorest people, the most humble people in Africa, for the ambassadors all over the world. On a bicycle, you can reach other people's hearts. People that don't have, they don't have nothing want to give you everything. People are people, understand? It doesn't matter if they're white, black, Portuguese, Spanish, Africans, Ethiopians, and everything. They're good people. Sometimes I feel that people think that I'm coming from the moon. Really. I, one time when I was in a really remote tribe in Mozambique, uh, we did like a, a song together. They sang a song for me. And someone told me that they, in the song they're saying, yesterday a guy came from the moon with a bicycle and today he's leaving. I cycled uh, to the city of La Paz, uh, the capital of Bolivia, the highest capital in the world. And when I cycled there, a car hit me on the, on the helmet and broke my helmet. It was a hit and run. Nobody came to, to help me. I was in the middle of the street. Nobody came to help me. It was hard. It was lonely. And I was you know, lying there and I was in shock. You know. And then after that, I said, OK, well, I change what's going on. You're OK. That's good. I was in shock. So, OK, find a cheap hotel, go to sleep. Tomorrow is another day. And, and, and the day after, when I woke up, I felt alive. I was happy to feel alive after he almost died. That day, you know, the taste of the coffee was much more better than the other day. After something almost breaking me, after that I'm gather myself and I'm much more stronger. I'm not afraid of dying, I'm afraid of stopping living. Oh, if I'm dying, I will die with a smile. It's not easy to dream, because our society is saying that if you're dreaming, something bad, you know, it's not normal to dream. No, it's more than normal to dream. You need to wake up and look inside yourself and see your dream. You know, most of the people think that uh, Israel is only, you know, tzitzit and uh, M16 or something like that. Guns and war. But I'm coming with a bicycle, I'm coming with a smile. I don't have goals. I have, my goal is a journey.